Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Ipsy Glam Bag for June. So this month I am totally in love, love, love with the bag. Um, it kind of goes with the theme. Um, Pretty in Paradise is the theme for this month and the bag just kind of fits in. And the bag is actually um, designed by Rebecca Minkoff. So it's really, really appropriate for this month. So I can't wait to, um, re to go inside and see what's in it. Hopefully there's something that smells really tropical in here. I don't know. Let's see. Um, okay, so the first thing that I see in my glam bag is a NYX um, butter gloss. And the color is in cream brulee which is a very neutral color. It's really pretty. Um, can't wait to try this. So I'm going to swatch a little on my hand. Okay, surprisingly, it's not sticky. I thought it was going to be kind of sticky, but it's not. And as you can see, it's a pretty neutral um, color with just a neutral, with just a hint of um, like peachy color peachy pinky color so um, this would be really really good with a real smoky eye um, so I can't wait to try that and that's by NYX so the next item da, 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 okay so so happy it looks like there's some smell good in here okay so the smell good is uh, real tree and um, Okay, it was in another little plastic thing. Real tree and um, and the scent is it, it's for her. So apparently they this line this brand makes for her and for him um, scents, and this one is for her. Um, so let's see what it smells like, and then it it's kind of matches the NYX lip gloss. So it's a, like a pinky neutral color. Hmm, smells good. Um, I can't really describe the scent. It's kind of sweet. Um, it's not real tropically like you know fruity or anything. It's just kind of sweet and but subtle. I'm more like it puts me in the frame of um, some kind of orchid flower or something. Maybe some tropical orchid. So the next thing that's in my bag um, is a Mark Anthony Beach Spray, and it um, it uh, creates sexy, tousled, beachy waves all year long. Okay, uh, don't need anything to enhance any kind of beachiness or waves or curls here, as you can see. Um, I got the stuff naturally going on. However, if I was wearing a straight style, if I was wearing a straight style and then um, was braiding it up, uh, then um, to get like a beach uh, wave or something like that, this would help. I would probably just spray it in and just scrunch it up. So anyway, we'll try it and see how it works. Again, not gonna be using it on my natural hair, but I definitely could use it um, when I rock my hair straight. So I will try it this month. All right, so the next item is a Be A Bombshell um, Mascara. And um, this is lash out on the box, so I don't know if that's what the color is. But um, girl can never have enough mascara. Right now, I am addicted to mascara ever since I stopped getting the um, eyelash extensions. Um, and the reason why I stopped with the eyelash extensions is because it was I love eyeliner and. Um, and it was really difficult to wear eyeliner um, with the extensions on. And it didn't matter whether it was liquid, pencil, powder, or if I was just using eyeshadow to line my eyes. Um, it was really difficult because of the way the extensions are glued in separately. It just, it just, anyway, it just didn't work. I love the look, but again, um, couldn't wear any eyeliner and you know and I really like eyeliner and stuff so um, anyway so 
I have, since I've gotten the extensions taken out, I really, really love, um, I have a newfound love for mascara. So I am excited to try this. So this has a, um, it's a little, it's not watery at all. It looks um, kind of thick and um, the brush is real open. Like it's not close together. So, and um, I don't like the smell though. It's a little strong um, smelling, uh, almost smells kind of chemically, um, but I'll need to look this up to see exactly what uh, is in here. It doesn't look like any bad ingredients, but again, I don't have my glasses, so I need to look into it some more. Anyway, um, I will try it and um, see how it works out. Alright, so the next item and the last item is a eyebrow pencil from Ofra, and it is the color of, it's a universal color. That's the name of the color, universal. So anyway, I have to admit, I did cheat because I ran out of my, um, my uh, an Anatasha uh, pencil. So I did cheat and started using this. And I have to say that um, not a fan of the texture of this. Where my Anatasha one, you know, it's, it's, it's like a hard pencil. This one is just entirely too soft. So even before one doing it on one eyebrow, I had to sharpen it twice um, because it's so soft. So um, maybe this is more, it's better for like filling in the eyebrows, um, not so much shaping them or, um, or creating the lower and upper line that I normally do. So anyway, not a big fan of it, um, but again, as a filler, it's good, but not as a shaper. So right now, I'm using two different um, products for my eyebrows since I ran out of the Anatasha one. I'm using this as a filler, and I'm also using the Anatasha lip pen um, to draw my lines on top and on the bottom. So anyway, I'm not going to show you that um, because this is an Ipsy unveiling, not um, a eyebrow tutorial. So anyway, that'll be another tutorial um, coming. Anyway, so those are all the items in my glam bag this month. Um, I'm, I would have to say my favorite two items out of this bag would be the lip gloss and I'm always a fan of fragrance. So um, this perfume is also my favorite out of the June plan bag. So anyway, so that's it guys. So um, stay tuned for the next un unboxing and that will be a Birchbox. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Mwah.